Hello and welcome to Accelerate. I am Matt Stone. This is the podcast where we encourage and inspire CEOs, founders, and visionaries on their big leap journeys. We talk about the stories and strategies that will help you accelerate toward your big leap destination with purpose, humility, an open mind, commitment to growth, and recognition that the way we get there is at least as important as where we end up. And I'm so delighted that you've tuned in today. And it is October the 31st, Halloween 2022, and it's also Monday. So if you're not freaked out by Halloween, you can be freaked out by the fact that it's Monday. No, I'm I'm just kidding, of course. And actually, I'm kind of looking forward to this evening when the uh, the kids in the building are going to be coming around. We've got like signs for our doors to put on that say we're open for trick or treaters. I got a bunch of candy, and I need to give it all away so that I don't eat any of it. So far, I haven't eaten one piece. I've got like a hundred and I don't know, 150, 160 pieces of candy. So hopefully that's enough. I have a feeling it's going to be too much, and uh, we'll need to you know parachute it over uh, over a school or something uh when it's all said and done to get get rid of it so i don't keep it on my body um but had a had a really really tremendously refreshing weekend much needed um and yeah we just i i had a car for just the weekend and um uh trying to remain carless as, as long as we can here, you know, with public transportation living so close to Manhattan. It's been great. Um, but getting a car every once in a while on the weekend is a great way to go explore and do a few things. And so, yeah, we got out and we had, we had pizza at a, at a very local place, not far from where we live. That was just phenomenal. Um, cash only. I mean, just a classic joint and uh man the tomato cheese pie unbelievable so so good and uh remarkably you know reasonably priced i was kind of surprised by that everything's so expensive here but but that was not that bad um and then uh and then we went out into the countryside all day sunday just enjoying apple picking there's a few apples left and we've got some beautiful yellow apples a couple reds but mostly yellow Super sweet. Enjoyed the nature, the, the air, and uh, you know all the smells. Might have had um, an apple cider donut. It's possible. Don't tell anybody. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we went out to another place uh, about an hour f- further away from the farm we were at, and we went. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it hiking, but it's kind of in the hills, and there's a big reservoir and beautiful trees and. Uh, so soaked it up really really wonderful and uh, and it occurred to me that fall here is kind of like what spring is in japan in a sense i mean you've got these spectacular colors uh now japan has those colors too but uh it goes away so fast there and here it, it extends a little bit longer and uh i got similar sensation uh, as I do in the spring in Japan, so it was it was really nice to connect with that. One thing I wanted to uh, share with you, uh, aside from recounting my weekend, which is only marginally interesting for some, is um, I've been on a real soul searching journey here in this transition on numerous levels, and uh, a. a friend of mine recommended that I uh, read a book um, that she had read years ago. And she actually had met the, she knows the author. It's called Let Your Life Speak, Listening for the Voice of Vocation. Um, And it's written by a Quaker man, Parker Palmer, Parker J. Palmer. Let Your Life Speak. If you just look up Let Your Life Speak, you'll find it. The Amazon description uh, describes it this way. With wisdom, compassion, and gentle humor, Parker J. Palmer invites us to listen to the inner teacher and follow its leadings towards a sense of meaning and purpose. Telling stories from his own life and the lives of others who have made a difference, he shares insights gained from darkness and depression, as well as fulfillment and joy, illuminating a pathway toward vocation for all who seek the true calling of their lives. And I really uh, connected with this book on on a number of levels. I think certainly if someone is, you know, searching for their vocation, what are they meant to do? What's their calling? 
it's it's a it's a really great read and a fast read and actually I did it on audio on audible and you know I was done on day two it's not very long but it's really powerful I think for anyone who's just feeling um feeling down maybe you're in depression now there's clinical depression I'm not addressing that okay um but you know just feeling down feeling really disconnected from self those sorts of things there's a lot of powerful stuff in here and i think the the theme that really captured me was just how true this is that when you're doing things that are not i mean whether that's your vocation or your job or in other areas that are not really true to yourself then there is suffering even if it's you can't see it above the surface and he also points out that it can cause others harm. You know, you're not just harming yourself. So for example, if you say to yourself, maybe from childhood, you had a mythology about what you were supposed to be, you know, and then you follow that path. You go to graduate school, law school, medical school, and you did it. I mean, you believed it, but you did it for whatever reasons. And then and then you, you're just not happy because it wasn't based on who you are and what your top gifts are. Maybe you could be competent at it. That's not the point. It's not that you're not smart enough or good enough to do the job at, at a you know minimally reasonable level, but you're not feeding your soul. And it isn't playing to your true self, true strengths, true genius, whatever that is for you. And therefore, you will suffer because of it. And others will suffer because of that. Now, we don't want to be too judgmental because, you know, who hasn't run astray of self? It's not always easy to know what those things are. But I tell you what, his story, insofar as... Uh, Parker Palmer's story and the way that he talks about it can give me insight, can give you insight in terms of walking the path that is truly true to self. Uh, It's really, really powerful. It gets a little preachy in the middle. He's Quaker. He's very steeped in religious tradition. It was kind of hard to stay connected with it in the middle when he gets into, and he's quoting different biblical references and things. And there's nothing wrong with that per se. It was just harder for me to track with that, uh, to stay as interested. Um, it felt a bit attenuated, I suppose, unless you shared that faith and then, you know, you would be probably dialed in. So again, it was, it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. It was great. All good points. I thought the beginning and the end were really, really powerful. And so if you have a chance to listen to it in particular, Um, I would highly, highly recommend Let Your Life Speak, and that will help along this lifelong journey of really connecting with self, honoring self, and acting in true nature to self. Um, It is where the best things happen, the best connections, the most love, the most acceptance, the most meaning happens, i found, and I'm certainly on that journey along with the rest of us, so... I hope that helps you, and uh, please share this information with colleagues, friends, family members whom you care about, and let them know that you care by sharing it with them. Happy Halloween. I hope, uh, however you celebrate or don't, that you have a great Monday or are having a great Monday. Thank you for listening, as always. On Twitter still, for the next few hours, I don't know. I'm really wavering with recent events. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just say this, when the new owner is tweeting conspiracy theories straight out of the gate, it's already a cesspool. I don't know. I might have to peace out. It's just there's no purity anywhere. So if you're going to take a stand against that, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. Don't know the answer. None of us really do. But for now, I'm still on Twitter at mattstone.co, Instagram at mattstone.co, and online at mattstone.co if you're going to share the podcast. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll check in tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye for now.